Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I'm gonna do another attempt at this whole voiceover deal, mainly because I never did shoot some sort of intro or give any explanation about where I was at or what was going on the day that we're fishing here. Um, so this was middle of April. This was the day after a big cold front came through and after a huge um, rain system. So that when the tornado came through Chattanooga and Cleveland and you know Southeast Tennessee, this was the next day up in Knoxville. So we'd had a ton of rain come through. Um, the temps dropped about, air temps dropped about 10 degrees. So from the last time that I'd been out on loud, the water had, had come up about five feet. So in this video right here, you can actually see the, those orange umbrellas are supposed to be sitting on top of a boat dock. Um, so a lot of the, the docks, the post docks are, have got water up over the tops of the decks. The water came up really, really fast. So uh, I started off flipping up shallow. I'll fast forward through some of this right here. Um, but had been catching some a decent amount of fish and some good ones out on the main lake uh, but thought with that water coming up i wanted to try and go flipping early and i i couldn't get a bite doing it uh, so throughout the day I, i'd every once in a while i'd fish main lake for a while then i'd run in and try to flip something fish main lake run and try to flip something uh, and and finally i only ever found one spot all day where i could pull in and, and flip them in that higher water and, and when i found them not and i don't catch it and there's there's no big fish at all this day uh, it was really, really tough, but ended up catching quite a few flipping in the afternoon and, and catch some cranking that you'll see here in a minute on the main lake. But um, that's just kind of what I what I thought we needed to do right after this cold front, just because of the the water having come up, they were ripping the current. So so any main lake point that I would pull up on on the main lake um, that had that current coming around it, you could catch some cranking, uh, cranking a bandit and. Uh, that blue chartreuse color is working pretty well and i ended up breaking it off on what well, was probably either a big drum or a big smallmouth because it's a spot that i've caught some, some a lot of big smallmouth at before but uh, also obviously you'll see here in just a second <laughs> caught some big drum that were biting that day too but um, a friend of mine matt ends up coming and joining me about 10 o'clock and, and once he showed up it was, it was harder for me to fish that main lake stuff just because i was getting right on the bank and just kind of parallel on those points and that kind of screws anybody out of the back of the boat so we only tried to go flipping and end up catching a couple but i appreciate you watching the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hopefully you enjoy what what you're about to watch yeah. thanks guys oh i got one right now oh i got a big one man oh, yeah, what is this that's gotta be a catfish oh that Big one, but we one thing worked, and we ran to the next point and did it, and it worked too. Get off this point real quick. So, main lake point stuff. The bring it down with the current. The second second point we fished like that. Second one we caught. They're not big ones, but keepers. Not a bad one. Oh, 
Oh man, no, no! Oh. Oh man, no! Nah. Keeper though. That spot. Uh, it is a spot. No, it ain't. I'm just crazy. Yeah. Right. And you would think to yourself, no wonder you have to pay 500. They're giving out free ones. There's another one. Not big, but they're pretty. I saw one of them. Oh, trunk. oh, plump, plumply, plumly. Come out of the same same spot. When I set the hook on it, all I saw was a stick move, but it was underneath. Go back there and throw home. Sorry. You are gonna catch him if I was just... Huh? I said you were gonna catch it if I hadn't boogered you. Small mouth. A little small mouth. 